Well, the legislative session is winding down in Albany just a month to go, and tonight we want to focus on one of the issues that's being debated in the final weeks. You'll remember a few years ago, we saw a huge response to the passage of the Child Victims Act here in New York. It opened a legal window for people who were abused as children to file lawsuits, even though the statute of limitations had expired. Well, there's now another bill in Albany that would do something similar, but for people who were abused as adults. It's called the Adult Survivors Act. It would allow a one year window for those lawsuits against alleged abusers, regardless of when the abuse happened. It passed the state Senate without a single no vote last week, but the same happened last year and it died in the state assembly. Joining us now is the bill's sponsor, State Senator Brad Hoylman, a Democrat who represents uh, part of Manhattan. Senator, it's good to have you on. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. So first, tell us why did you propose this bill? I mean, we gave a, a very brief description there, but what else should we know about this proposal and why you think it's important? Well, the bottom line is thousands of New Yorkers are hurting. They're hurting because they have been sexually abused as adults. And previously, the statutes of limitations were so short that they couldn't have time to take their abuser or the institution that may have protected their abuser to court to seek justice. So it's a simple matter of justice. We've extended the statute of limitations moving forward. But what about all those people we left behind who didn't have the benefit of this new law? This bill didn't get a vote in the assembly last year. Uh, your fellow Democrat Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes, uh, who represents Western New York here, said that she didn't think it was as necessary as the Child Victims Act. Um, I guess just that, you know, there's a difference here in uh, crimes committed against children versus adults. Uh, we reached out to her today to kind of get her thoughts on this, uh, but didn't hear back. But what do you say to those who believe that this isn't as necessary as it was for children? Well, I'll say that, uh, uh, the majority leader is doing a fantastic job on these and other issues, as uh, are her colleagues, uh, Senator Kennedy and Senator Ryan, and we should all be proud of their efforts. The truth is there's not much of a difference between 17 and 18 years old or 19 years old, and trauma takes time. It takes time for the adult survivors of child sexual abuse, but it also takes time for adult survivors themselves who in many instances uh, don't understand the gravity of what happened to them, that they were sexually abused by, in some cases, a trusted family member. That could take years or even decades to formulate for anyone. So it comes down to the fact that if we have extended the statutes of limitations for crimes of sexual abuse from five years to over 20, what about all of those New Yorkers who didn't have the benefit of that time extension. Let's give them one year to file civil claims against their abusers. And I'll add something else. This is an important public safety measure because we will, through the Adult Survivors Act, just like we did for 11,000 cases in the Child Victims Act, identify perpetrators, individuals who have sexually abused New Yorkers and still may be in a profession or some place of work where they still may have contact with individuals that they could be still abusing. Finally, it's kind of a recurring theme here on the town hall. We talk about how Albany can move at a, a frustratingly slow pace for a lot of people. Um, it does seem odd, I think, for those of us watching from afar that, that your bill here can get unanimous support in the Senate, yet maybe not even get an, a vote in the Assembly. Um, I know the clock is ticking. Both chambers are scheduled to adjourn exactly a month from today on June 2nd. What are the chances you think that your bill gets passed in the Assembly like it did in the Senate? I'd like to think very good. You know, there are a few issues of such public policy import that pass unanimously in the New York State Senate, which is highly partisan, uh, I might add. But the truth is that we have uh, a short amount of time, but an important period where we are educating our colleagues uh, in the other house. They are going to, I think, address this issue before the end of session. I am confident that we will move because there are thousands of New Yorkers who are speaking up, survivors who are sharing their personal stories, really uh, to the judgment of their mental health, probably, uh, I should suggest, because we all know that it's difficult to process trauma. It's very difficult to speak publicly about it. So 
I really give credit to the survivors who have been up here in Albany week after week campaigning for this important legislation. Manhattan Democratic State Senator Brad Hoylman is the sponsor of the Adult Survivors Act. Thanks so much for coming on and talking about it. We appreciate it. Great to be here.